Hello family, welcome back to my channel. This is Obapa Frakoma's Kitchen. Today we are going to do an authentic spinach stew. Some people call this palava sauce or contomire in Ghana. You can have this with some rice, some yam or anything of your choice. Come on guys, this is so delicious. Ah, I can't wait to start this with you guys. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video for more updates on my channel. Come on, guys, let's get started. <laughs> family so this is our ingredients for our lovely spinach stew or palava sauce i've got my spinach right there you can get this from any supermarket at all and um, so we're going to add some twists to our palava sauce or spinach stew today on the normal basis we use um palm, red palm oil for this kind of stew but today we are going to use a sunflower cooking oil I've got one tomato tin um, plum. I've got mackerel tin fish right there. I've got onion, some onion, garlic, ginger. You guys know how much I love my bell pepper, so we're going to use some. Um, our scotch bonnet chili or fresh pepper. We are going to use some stinking fish, which we call it momoni in Ghana. I've got some smoked mackerel or salmon right there. I've got some eggs here, so I'm using four eggs. Um, you can choose to use um, agusi, which is called by the Nigerians, or agushi in Ghana, or some people also call it um, the white seed melon. So the twist is we are going to use some gizzard in our spinach stew today. I've got some shrimp powder right there. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, family, so I'm going to start my spinach or palava sauce by steaming my gizzard. I've just added some garlic ginger, some diced onion. I'm going to add some salt to taste. And then I will add one shrimp cube powder to that. So um, that's looking good. I'm just going to add some little water, not too much at all, because um, gizzard doesn't really need too much water to cook. So I'm going to leave this on the cooker to cook about 10 minutes. So whilst that is looking, I mean, beautifully cooked at the moment, um, I will be using sunflower oil today, as I've already said in my introduction, that we are using sunflower oil to do our spinach stew today. So I'm going to start it off by frying my gizzard in that oil. Guys, do not fry this for a long time um do not fry it for it to be too hard it should be um a bit um tender so once that is done um after all that gizzard has infused into our oil i'm just going to use that same oil to start my spinach stew so i've just put um, my momone which is also called the stinking fish into my oil guys this fish is just amazing it takes your stew to the next level it's looking amazing at the moment it smells so delicious guys you need to try this this is just amazing it is looking very beautiful at the moment so i'm just gonna leave this to cook for just about two minutes for it to infuse properly into my oil my cooking oil guys this is looking amazing if you haven't tried this recipe guys you need to try this because this house is really smelling good guys it's smelling really good guys you need to try this so just steam this for about just some few minutes and then i'm going to add my onions into this oil cooking oil so that is my onion just leave this to i mean infuse into the oil for about four minutes 
just give it a good stir and just leave it for a little bit more this is looking good guys this smells really good this smells really good it's just amazing so whilst that is getting ready um our vegetables is also ready to be blended. so i've just got some a half of my tomato plum i've got my scotch bonnet chili in there i've got my red pepper in there some onions and also a little bit of one garlic and about just a tiny bit of um garlic in um, ginger i mean in there so once that is going is blend I'm just going to put everything into my sauce, at my oil at the moment. I didn't really blend this to be very smooth. So, um, because I want that crunchiness in my sauce. So, I'm going to put everything in there. And then leave this for about some five minutes to cook. Just give it a good stir and just leave this for about five minutes, guys. This is the same, I mean, way that you would use if you're using palm oil. This is the same procedure that you would use. But it's just that we are using sunflower oil for our spinach stew today, guys. This smells really good. So once that is on fire, getting ready, I'm just going to get my spinach um, ready as well. So what I normally do with my spinach is I just give it a good wash by adding some water and also some salt just to take away any foreign bacteria around my spinach. So once this is done, I'm just going to make sure I emerge everything into the water and then I will use a strainer to strain away the water and then i will start cutting this into my simple any style that you would like to cut this into it's really up to you guys stew is looking amazing i'm just gonna add my salmon and then um give it a good stir this is looking very beautiful at the moment i like the way the colors are you know like blending together the red and those salmon representing in there i'm gonna add my gizzard as well and then give it a good stir and then i'll add my um, gizzard stock to my sauce as well so at this moment, I haven't put any spices. I'm just going to put one um, shrimp cube powder in there. Um, I just waited for a while because um, the stock has got, um, I mean, um, um, some spices in there already so that I can taste this and then know how much more I need in there. So at the moment, my one cube shrimp powder has been added. I'm just going to give this a good stir and then um, I'm just going to leave this for about um, some four minutes, guys. So, um, it is looking amazing at the moment. Delicious. It looks so delicious already. Um, our spinach has been cut into nice thin slices. Um, so, I'm just waiting um, a little bit to put my egg and my mackerel tin fish in there later on and then i can add my spinach later so this is my egg i've got four eggs so as i said most people might choose using agusi or agushi or other people know it's we called um the white um seed melon so i've put i've just put my eggs in there i'm going to give it about cover it and give it about five minutes and then open it again to see how my sauce is 
doing guys you need to really i mean try this recipe just look at that it's looking amazing those chunks of egg and the salmon the gizzard everything is smelling so good at the moment i wish you will be here to enjoy with me guys just try this recipe and don't forget to subscribe like share and drop some comments down below so that you can be part of the afra kumas family so now i'm just gonna put my tin fish in there mackerel i just decided to leave this to the end because um it's quite soft and it might just mash into my sauce so i just did that at the last bit so our spinach is just relaxing to i mean take it 10 um into the sauce it's looking right good there just look at those green i mean those colors infusing in there it's just amazing just look at those green color the red color oh, look at the salmon in there oh my god it is looking amazing just look at that guys you need to really try this at home guys try using this amazing recipe and you will never regret trying this recipe this is looking so beautiful oh my god just look at that salmon uh infusing into that sauce oh my god i can't wait to dive into this that is looking so amazing at the moment guys you can have this with some rice your yam your eba your pounded yam whatever that you want to enjoy with this guys but don't forget to i mean drop some comment down below to let me know how you enjoyed using my recipe guys please don't forget to subscribe like share this videos to your friends and family so they can also try this amazing authentic spinach i mean sauce this is i mean looking good i can't wait to to dive into this guys thank you so much for watching i love you all and thank you for joining